Hi, Emmy. How are you today? I am great. How are you? I'm doing great. So I'm just going to interview you for the Studio 23 Art Around the City Trail. So if you're ready, we can start. All right. I'm ready. All right. So what was your inspiration for the piece on the trail? Well, I was getting ready for uh, a exhibition that I was invited to go to, which didn't happen because of the whole COVID thing. So, and I decided that I wanted to include some found objects. I have a lot of things out in my pole barn. <laughs> and that happened to be some staples that I had kept from a large um, cardboard delivery of, I think it was fused glass supplies or something. So I, grubbed around and I made some pieces and that happened to be one of them. So that's what, how that kind of came about. That's very cool. What kind of, what kind of other stuff do you have in your pole barn? Like, like, okay. Oh God, I have so much stuff out there. I have uh, a lot of stuff that a lot of guys are envious of because I have a little uh, table saw. I have staple guns. I have drills. I have circular saws and pipes and screws and nails and all kinds of miscellaneous that I got from um, after um, just from my dad and stuff and you know just weird objects that I keep on thinking I'm going to use. That's sometime. very very <laughs> very cool and then where do you like to work or what would you call your studio? Well I really don't have like a studio per se because I have a lot of unfinished spaces or whatever. I have no place that's really heated um, for like a regular studio. So um, I do like I sketch everywhere. Um, I have a small work table in my bedroom that I do things that hopefully aren't too messy. Although I have done things in here that you probably shouldn't do like mosaics and clay and and other things. Um, and then in my garage is where I have my glass kilns and a work table. And then I have another section out in my pole barn where I have another kiln and a couple other work uh, stations to do uh, glass casting. And I'm going to try to get it set up this summer to do um, uh, flame working with glass because we um, I have the stuff for that I just have to get it set up so and then I'm gonna when I teach fusing classes I'm gonna try to do it on my pole barn instead of my garage because I have to move the cars out of the way <laughs> and clean it up <laughs> very fair and, and nothing's then, heated out there so just, nothing yeah, happens especially around that. here that's that's very important yeah, I know <laughs> it's just like well how do I get the money to do that <laughs> yeah fair fair and then what is a typical day working look like for you well it probably depends on what I'm gonna what media I'm gonna be working in so if I'm gonna be doing glass I usually have a pretty good idea what I'm going to do in the glass because you want to be able to cut it and fit it or I'll cut out templates and use that to do my thing and then you just do it until you're tired of standing you know because I'm usually it's a standing thing that I do for that mm -hmm. um, rather than sitting down and working if I'm going to do encaustic um, it's you know just getting out the supply setting everything up and then because those are aren't pre-made usually pre-made pieces of encaustic board that I use. So it kind of, it just varies, you know, what am I going to work in? What was my idea that I had? How am I going to get it out of my head and into mm -hmm. something that somebody else can see? And then how much, you know, does it change from here to there? <laughs> Fair. And then you've kind of mentioned it already, but what has inspired you to work in your specific, well, mediums, I guess, multiple different. Yeah. Mediums. Um, it's usually based on what the ideas that I that I have, you know, so I saw something or I did a sketch or did whatever. So that's going to kind of drive what I'm going to work in. So my encaustic stuff is more of abstract kind of stuff. If I'm doing something in fused glass or cast glass, it's going to probably be figurative. So that's part of what kind of drives me. What idea did I get? What am I trying to do? and so on. And then that's going to determine what I kind of work in. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And then just one last question. I've asked a couple of different artists this, but how long have you been working with art, like making art, I guess? Um, 
probably since high school off and on. So there's been times in my life where I haven't done it for a long time. And then the other times when I do it all the time and I used to be a graphic designer. So when I would go to work and work, a lot of that creativity was poured into my job. So I did a lot less. And mm -hmm. then, you know, so it just all depends on probably how I'm feeling up in my head about different things. <laughs> but yeah, very cool. So it was really nice to hear about your art and the process that you go through to make okay. it, but I'm excited to see your piece. Okay, well, thank you very much. All and, right, uh, perfect. Enjoying Have a good day. Enjoy talking to you. Yep. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.